Hi guys, long time no see. This is Lila here with me. She decided to join me in this video. I would just like to update you on what's in my violin case at the moment because since my last video, I have added some things and taken out some things and I would just like to show you what I finally decided on that I think is helpful for me, which might be helpful for you as well. So without much further ado, let me give you an update on what's in my violin case. If you want to know about my case though, you can go and check out my earlier video which I'll link to in the description box down below. And since then, this has had this ugly spot here on my case which is dried slime, dried slime, dried slime from my kids. So on the top part of my case, which is usually where you put your musical pieces, I have organized my stuff and this poster from Zlata Brower has long since fallen off my wall. It is the violin fingerboard map and at the back it's the viola fingerboard map. And I just keep it in my case because it's a very handy poster uh, of the circle of fifths and all the notes on the violin which I use when I read pieces, the notes and the circle of fifths. I recently learned how to use it on a very basic level because I'm starting to study how to improvise on the violin. And then from my uh, previous video, I still have this book. This is the I Can Read Music book, volume 2 by Joanne Martin and I think it's from the same publisher as the Suzuki books. And currently, I just have it on page 10 because I want to master how to read notes properly on the violin and keep up with the rhyme and know what the notes sound like without having to check myself on the piano all of the time. And up next, I organized all my sheet music in this clear book, which I will show you so that you can see what I'm currently working on. So I've decided to focus all my efforts from now on on the Wolf Heart Etudes so that I can concentrate on my technique because eventually what I want to be doing is not sticking with classical music but classical music is a very good foundation for the violin. So I just have Etudes 1 to 30 and two years ago I won a course with Red Desert Violin on the Wolf Heart Etudes, so I'm, I'm going to be following Laura's video lessons on how to play them properly. The next section in my clear book is this Pro Like a Pro practice plan, which I plan to get back on track again because I've stopped for quite a while. This lesson will help me learn how to use the bow properly. And then at the back of my clear book, I have my ultimate dream pieces that if I learned how to play, I will have reached my violin goals, which is not very grand. I really just want to learn how to play my favorite Lindsay Sterling songs. It's not too hard for a proper violinist maybe, but this is all I really want to reach. And after this, I want to be able to compose my own songs and I want to be able to improvise on the violin so that I can jam with my other friends. Next section in my clear book, I have pieces from Suzuki Book 2. Because I believe for me to be able to play decent uh, Lindsay Sterling pieces, I should at least be on Suzuki Book 2 level. So after I do the Wolf Heart Etudes, I plan to carry on with the Suzuki Book 2. And because I don't have an actual teacher, all my lessons are just online and I'm not even properly um, conversing with the actual people who made the lessons but I do have violin lessons as well from Red Desert Violin on Suzuki Book 2 so I'm going to be following that and I haven't really started on that yet. So that's that for my clear book and just a summary of where I want to go with the violin in my journey. I still have this rosin, this leatherwood rosin which I did a separate video and review on but I keep it here on the top compartment because every time I play my violin my four-year-old always steals my rosin. She makes, yeah, she gets a kick out of taking this away from me. And I'm really scared that she might damage it. So I keep it secretly hidden here on the top compartment so that she won't see when I practice. I also keep the heart uh, pencil on the top part of my violin case because my little one also likes to steal this. And I lose the pencils every time I need them. So they stay here. 
I'm just gonna put all of this back together where they belong before we go on to the main compartment. All right, so going back to where we were, I just had to change the angle of the camera so that you can actually see what's inside the main compartment of my violin case now. So as you can see, I have one, two, three, four violin bows and the string tube. I believe I have described in my previous video uh, the Fiddlerman bow, the Meller Solo, Penambuco slash carbon fiber bow, and my favorite bow, uh, the Vingo Bow Master uh, bow, which is lighter and a little bit shorter than the actual four fourth bows. It's the easiest to use, and when I'm tired using my um, Penambuco slash carbon fiber bow, I switch to this to give my right hand a bit of a break. And this is just a cloth that I stole from my previous violin case because the cloth that came with this wasn't very good. I've already talked about my instrument in the previous video. Uh, if you want to learn more about that, you can just check that out. It's a bit longer and more detailed. But what I do want to show you is what's inside these two compartments at the moment. So top compartment first. I still have my foam shoulder rest, which works just as nicely as the expensive shoulder rests out there, in my opinion. It's all I need for my level and my goals, and it has a permanent place here in my case for as long as it still works. Next, I just have this plastic bag with my name and my phone number on here in case my case gets lost, not that I travel with it and go to concerts. And this is just a picture of me and Lindsay Sterling from an unfinished project that I'm working on, which I haven't really gotten around to. So that's all in this compartment. Uh, my rosin used to be here and my pencil, but you know where they are now. Just keep that a secret from my four-year-old so that she doesn't find out. She will find out next year. Next, I will show you what's in this compartment. So, here I have my cleaning cloth. Here's the four-year-old. I have a Sharpie. I don't know what I use that for, but it's just there. I have a nail cutter very useful one of the items that i use the most the mute which i rarely use i still have my mudd dehumidifier, which i really need to microwave or oven so that i can get rid of all the accumulated moisture in here i don't know if it's helping at the moment to keep the humidity inside my violin case normal because you really need to draw out the moisture from the dehumidifier to keep working which I haven't done yet. <laughs> and then I have a pen here, which I use for my practice journal. <laughs> this is Milka and this is Lyrica. Milka's a four year old who I'm hiding my rosin from. And this is a new item in my case. I don't believe I have showed this to you before. This is Violin Spit by Stravari. I decided that I need to, yes, it's called Violin Spit, but it's not real Violin Spit. They got the name from how other people, <laughs> they use their spit or the moisture from their mouth to clean the violin. And I've decided for myself that I don't want to keep on doing that, even though Luthiers recommend it. So I bought a proper violin cleaner. It's not as expensive as the more popular ones out there, but in my opinion, it works just as fine. And then at the back of my violin, I still have this um, whole set of prelude strings, which I haven't used yet. And I just have this thank you note from Andrew Baker, the person who I got my leatherwood rosin from. And last but not the least, I just have these two bits here from my violin case that fell off. Apparently, this case is not as durable uh, when we are talking about these metal bits that stick onto the end of the case. So I just keep them here in case I get round to figuring out a way to put it back. So that's it guys. Thank you for sticking with me. And this is Lyrica. Everyone's here. So this is the really busy part of my day. I will just see you next time. And thank you for watching this video. Bye.